Officials announced they will be using the nearly $1 million to further expand their license plate reader program along with their real time crime center. This is all to better observe, detect, and prevent crime in this city. Curbing crime in Delray Beach. On Monday, Representative Lois Frankel joined city officials as they announced Delray Beach will receive about $1 million from the federal government. With these funds, we have the opportunity to, to expand on our technological capabilities, upgrade our equipment, and strengthen our partnerships with law enforcement agencies and the community stakeholders. It's something Representative Frankel says is essential. High crime rates, they can do a lot of bad things. Not only, of course, uh, put at risk people's self, their property, it also depresses property rates, uh, values. It can deter investment. It can increase insurance premiums. The funding will go towards the expansion of the police department's license plate reader program, but it will also help the department's real-time crime center. Our real-time crime center serves as the nerve center of, of our proactive approach to public safety. It enables us to monitor and respond to incidents in more real time, analyze data to identify crime trends, and deploy resources more effectively. The crime center recently purchased a program called FUSIS. The program identifies surveillance cameras in the area that have a live feed after a 911 call comes in and then gives officers access to see what's going on. It's all about using data to be smarter about policing. This investment is a testament to our commitment to the safety and well-being of our community. The city says they hope other departments in our area see the work the police department is doing here and use it as an example to follow. Reporting live in Delray Beach, I'm Amber Rum, CBS 12 News.